my loves and welcome back to my channel um, today today's gonna be a little bit of a dose of encouragement so um, with the channel now being a dose of Christian joy it's a little bit of everything it's a dose of happiness it's a dose of joy it's a dose of encouragement of fashion of style of life of everything um, but today um, I'm going to be given a little bit of a dose of encouragement because um, I know what it's like to be at a place where you're like look I know I know God has given me where I know that things have to get better I know that something inside of me is telling me that there's a light at the end of the tunnel but right now I just don't see it you know we've all been at that place before where you're just kind of like whether it's in your health whether it's in your career your finances your relationship marriage whatever it may be we've all been at this place before you know um, so just recently I would just so happen to be um, reading in I believe it was first Kings um, and it was I was reading about Elijah in the Bible and it was this amazing amazing man that was like a prophet and um, he was at a at the time it was a drought going on it was a drought in the land and he had he literally he said he heard in the bible talks about how he heard the sound of rain so imagine being in literally like the sahara desert and it's like okay i hear rain i hear that there's like something coming it's like you would think that that's like a facade or you would think that it's something that just isn't real like there's no way that could happen you would think that you're like hallucinating or like look i've been out here too long you know but sometimes we can be like that in life where you're like i know things have to get better but it's been a few years <laughs> there's been a few things that have happened that literally look like there's no way that you can get to that point you know but you're like in, in your mind you're like i'm hallucinating like there's no way i can get that position at work there's no way that literally the doctors have told me that this is something that just cannot go away like i have to just live with it i have to learn how to maintain it or to keep it controlled you know but no if you if God has placed that inside of you like he literally gives us like the Word of God he tells us to pray and all these things for a reason because inside of us it, he literally gives us that hope and that peace to know I can do it I will do it you know but you just got to trust in me so um, today are three points that um, that kind of just helped me give me encouragement just in my own life because if you guys have been watching my YouTube um, my other video you know that literally I have gone through even in my own health being literally the doctors coming to me and telling me look you have accolation you have something you have this disorder that it cannot go away or we just haven't figured out how to get it to go away you know so during this time we're gonna we're gonna give you this this surgery we're gonna do all these things and it's gonna it's something that can help to maintain it you know but there is a possibility you know they could come back but even in that whether it was which that is one thing but I feel like even for me it's been in my career as well and even I can even say in finances in other areas you know and just relationships with others and those around me you know there are times that I'm like I know that this has to I know it has to get better I know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel with this you know but it doesn't really look around so these are three points that um that I know it's kind of helped me and I believe that it can help you um, so, the, so the first thing is to choose to believe God's word over the word of others or even not even just the word of others but things like things that you see around you so when I was reading this um, when I was reading in this verse basically in the story um, Elijah he is he hears this sound of rain in the middle of a drought and he's like okay I, I may be hallucinating but you know what God I believe that this is something you're trying to tell me so he literally crouches down and like puts his head in between his knees and he starts praying and before he does it actually he tells his servant he says go to the he literally says I hear the sound of rain go to check like go up this mountain to check so he like crouches down and like literally puts like his lip his um his head in between his legs he's praying 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 and just like going you know and it talks about how seven different times, seven times, this servant kept coming back and saying, I don't see it. Like, I don't see no rain. I don't, I don't. And he's like, okay, go back. 
he goes back into that same position but the reason that he when i remember reading the story i'm like um the reason that he crouched down and put his leg in between his head in between his leg and was like praying during that time was because he was like i don't want to be distracted i don't want to look and see that i hear this ring but i don't see it you know i don't want to get distracted in the fact that i'm going i see him running to go to go look but i know that i don't see anything in the sky but so i'm going to put my head down i'm going to continue to keep trusting and praying but we have to be like that you know because whether you get a negative report with your help and you go back to the doctor the next time and he's like look looks like things are getting worse or just nothing has changed you have to meta it's kind of like a metaphor but literally just not even just like close off your ears and your eyes to all those things and just say i know literally that's their job that is a job to talk to help you there is whether it's in your relationship say you go back to um you go back to that family member and you try to like talk things out but then y'all end up getting another argument and you're just kind of like okay let me continue to keep praying on this you know because i know and i believe and i trust that if god said it if god told me that there's a light at the end of the tunnel if he says within his word that he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could even hope or imagine then i'm going to trust in that and not go by what i see around me i'm just the second point is to keep pushing so i'm going to go ahead and tell you now there are going to be times that well at least for me well what I had went through just during my time with my help and just in other areas there are going to be times that you're going to be like it's been a while god I, what's going on like I hear this I hear this rain I know that you're going to do it but it has been a minute you know but if you think go back to the scripture when I was like reading it literally it says that when Elijah heard the sound of rain and he sent his servant to go to check on to check on on the mountain to see if there was any rain it was a good seven times you know so I could only imagine if someone I'm like I hear rain go check and then you like and then the person comes back seven times I mean um I can only speak for myself by like fourth or fifth time I'm literally gonna be like look God am I going crazy am I like I feel bad I keep sending this guy like he's he literally it's been like four or five times and this isn't just like a small little like oh running from here to there this man took a nice little journey to go check to see if there was rain you know but the literally by the fourth or fifth time he just continued to keep trusting and believing he didn't allow the fact that he may have looked a little crazy that things still look like they were before no matter what every single time the servant came back and said I don't see the rain he goes okay go back again he literally got right back into that same position he kept trusting he kept believing he kept, he kept praying and saying God I'm choosing to believe no matter what that you're I hear your rain I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna keep trusting and literally praying and interceding and knowing that you're gonna do it so it may be times that you look at that bank account and it's still like negative or it's still it ain't it ain't really showing the the amount of money that you feel that you should be making or you still haven't seen that bonus come at work or you still go back to the doctor time after time again and you see that it's a negative report or things seem to be or or maybe even that it goes the opposite way like it may have been that at one point things were getting better and then you go back and it seems like there's a completely negative report or it's just a standstill like nope things aren't really doing anything or you say you have a strained relationship with your husband or, or family member and you go back to them and you just start arguing all over again and you're like god there has to be something better like it's it seems like this is just going on and on and on you know but no matter what you see keep pushing keep believing go back and say god i'll choose to believe your word i choose to trust and keep going whether it's something that happens in a week whether it's something that happens in a few months whether it's something that happens in a year i'm going to continue to keep praying and trusting and believing so the third point is to know that when it rains honey it is going to pour god he is a god that he is so faithful to the fact that we keep pushing and the fact that we don't get distracted by things that come on that may go on around us he's going to make sure that he does you don't look crazy you know you may it may be times that you look crazy and that you're like i'm going to keep pushing no matter what and god's like look at look at my son look at my daughter like they're continuing to trust in me they are they're not allowing these things around them to to get to them and th 
like it's kind of like a proud parent why would he not bless you why would he not make it into something that's so huge that other people are like what in the you were just like how did you get your report just said how did what he has to do it in that way because if um when i was reading in um in this chapter literally in verse um so the chapter i'm so sorry i forgot to say it um but i'm gonna put it at the bottom of this it is second kings chapter 18 um so at verse 44 it talks about how literally the seventh time that the servant had like come back to him and was like elijah he said you know what i don't see the rain but i do see a cloud it's literally like the size of a man's fist and then elijah was like say no more let's go get my get my chair we got to go like the rain's coming you know it was so beautiful the fact that he took it wasn't even rain yet but god sometimes he gives you these glimpses just enough to be like okay go it's coming like it's like just go go ahead and get everything ready you it has you haven't seen it completely yet but it is coming he acted immediately and from one scripture it for it went from literally just the size of a man's fist to literally the very next one it says that the sky had turned black and literally it just started pouring so if you think about it that way from one scripture from it literally being the size of a man's fist to the next things changed immediately which makes me think that really he had got so much power that he literally could change everything at the snap of a finger if he really wanted to he just wants to see if he just wants to of course grow something in our character but he also wants to see how bad do you want it? Are you really going to push? Are you really going to believe that I can over override a doctor's report? That I can override what your body feels like? Because sometimes your body can feel literally just like, this isn't work. Like, literally, it's, I'm, I'm not going to cooperate with what you're saying, you know? Like, I've seen it happen, you know? So it's kind of like going against what you feel, going against what people may say, going against what everything around you is just choosing to trust in what he says you know and when he does literally when you choose to do go about it that way he literally can change he will change things so quick so sudden and in such a way that literally people can't to this day we're still reading about this story of the bible and just being encouraged and and giving and given so much hope by it you know so god wants to do that in your life and he wants to do it in such a way that your co-workers your family your doctors um everyone around you is going to be like whoa what did you who whatever you did just tell me what to do i'm just going to do I'm, i just just give me give me the juice i need all of it you know so that is what he's going to do for all of us that is what he's going to do for you that is what he's done for me to this day i'm continuing to be to have those moments where sometimes things around me and even the way i feel or the things that my body does or things that i see you know it doesn't really line up with what i hear from the word of, of course from the word of god but from what god has told me you know and that comes from me just spending time with him daily and i'm like and he'll just be, give me a peace to know that i got this you know i'm going to take care of these certain areas you know but then as soon as i finish praying with him i see certain things that happen and i'm like oh, but you just told me and he's like exactly so go by that and not by what you see so that is what i'm going to share with you that is what has given me a peace and how i've seen things truly just change in so many different areas you know it wasn't something that happened overnight it wasn't something that was literally just kind of like ta-da literally in the very next second sometimes it took months sometimes it took years sometimes it literally took a extra special kind of push but like i said in the end when it rains it pours when he comes he's going to do it in such an amazing and beautiful way you know so that is what he's done for me that's what i believe that he's going to do for you and this is a little dose of love and encouragement to know that it can and it will happen just keep pushing just keep believing just keep literally not literally closing off everything to distractions and just choosing to trust in god and just know that he isn't gonna he's not gonna let you down he loves you so so much he really does and he's what he tells you is not a lie he's gonna do it you know so i love you guys so much um, I'm going to put all the information if I, I'm hoping I didn't screw up the chapter and all that stuff, but if I did, I'm going to put it down. Um, everything's going to be below all the information. 
please, please, please comment, share, um, subscribe if you have not already. Um, but also, I want to hear your feedback. If you have something that you're going through that you're like, oh, actually, I want you to talk about this or kind of how you got through this or this is something that I'm dealing with. Like, what do you think about it? You know, put it below. I want to make a video about it and just give you an extra dose of just love and encouragement in those different areas. Or if it's something that's completely different with style and you're like, oh, I want to know about tops or makeup or hair, whatever it may be, <laughs> just comment below the type of videos that you want to see and I will do my best to bring them right to you so um that is it i love you guys so so much and i will see you next time bye